Keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews 13, 5. So basically, <clears throat> let God handle it. Okay? Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, we are going to be doing my skincare routine. Because you see... When my voice gets deep like that, I mean business. We're here for the skin, boys and girls. Because everybody knows I don't like the glue. Okay, I stay away from it. So if you happen to see my lace, you're not breaking news. I've already said it. Let's focus on the skincare routine. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Step one of my skincare routine. I start off in the mirror and I look at myself and I say, Sophia... You are a fine babe. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. I'm not. Because you need to wake up knowing that you're the baddest. I boogers and all. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's get started. The first step to any skincare routine is to wash your face. And I love this Bior Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. It makes my skin feel so clean. Like, mwah, I love this product. I wet my face and I apply some. Now I went to go and be a village woman and apply so much and even put it in my eye. Like, why, Sophia? I was trying to do Shakara for YouTube, but don't worry. I wiped it away. Just know that in real life, guys, I never make that mistake. It's way harder to do it on camera. But I put this much on and I massage it into the skin. I sing a song so I can make sure I'm washing my face for long enough. And then with warm water, I wash it off. The hotter, the better, because that steam will open up those pores and prepare our skin for step two, which is toner. Fresh Beauty released this toner not too long ago, and I've been in love ever since. Like, it has real rose petals in it, guys, and that's great for your skin. They also have this one that has a spray nozzle, and I'll show you the difference in a second. But basically, I take the one with rose petals, squirt some onto my hands, and start massaging it into my skin. Now, I prefer using my hands, my clean hands, over a cotton pad, because I feel like that waste product and I don't like cotton on my face anyway, so I like using my clean hands. No problem with that. And then I use cold water to rinse it off so that my pores lock in those benefits from the toner. And a splash of cold water feels way too good on the face after toning it. I dry my face with a fresh, you know, facial towel. But if you have paper towel, that's much better. But these are just hard times for paper towel, if you know what I mean. So a fresh towel works. So back to this bad boy I showed you all some moments ago. This is just for those days where I don't feel like doing all that bougie stuff to my skin. I just spray and go on with my day, like period. <laughs> but when I have time, I use the rose petal one, okay? Entonces, I'm gonna go into the serum part. Now this is a bougie part of the skincare routine that I just got introduced to this year. This is the best serum I have laid my beautiful eyes on, okay? And I just take a little bit and oof, smooth it into my face. It feels like uh, heaven. It feels like uh, a gift from God, okay? But this just keeps your skin sealed and moisturized way longer than just putting on moisturizer. Now, do I think serums are necessary? Yes, but these oils that Instagram baddies be using, uh, not so much. You know the one I'm talking about, like the drip drop. Ooh, so cute. This is a vitamin C one. It smells like oranges. I'm not feeling it whatsoever. I rub it into my face. I've lived this long. My skin is beautiful. I haven't been using it. I don't think it's necessary, but you know, if you think so, comment down below on your view on those, okay? And then if you have good ones, like let me know. But anyway, I let that serum dry into my skin. And once it has soaked in and dried well, well, I'm gonna take my facial moisturizer. So your girl has been using Clinique, right? But here's the gist, my sister, like, any moisturizer is all the same. I can't lie, this one feels good. Oh, it feels good. But uh, whether you wanna spend big money or small money on moisturizer is up to you. I just want it to be bougie, it's my birthday, you understand? But this shea butter here, Hmm, this is my girl. I will stand by this thing. All I do is smooth it into my palm, warm it up, and apply it to my face. And it has worked better than any moisturizer I have tried. It makes my skin feel healthy and young. 
And mind you, I have oily skin type, but it also dries out. And you know, just because you have oily skin doesn't mean you can't keep it moisturized. So Shea Butter is for all the girls and boys, okay? It's so good for your body and even your lips. But on my lips, I use this Jouer Lip Conditioner. Now, funny story how I found this. A Sephora worker told me it was lip gloss, sis. So I bought it and tried it on and it was so smooth because it's a lip conditioner. It soaks and penetrates deep into your lips to give you soft, never peeling lips. And I've been using it, I love it, I highly recommend it. And that's what I do every day. But I have one, or a few, hold up real quick alternatives let's compare and review so this bosha cleanser is a charcoal cleanser just like our girl bior now bosha is more expensive and she's from sephora bior is from the drugstore and i prefer it much better but there's just an alternative now as far as toners witch hazel is a toner and for the longest time i used thyra's witch hazel i'll leave all these products in the description box but this rose petal one just came and stole my heart away and the spray bottle one is cool too. They're really pricey, so you can always stick to thyers or whatever witch hazel you use, but this is just my recommendation. Serum, here to stay by my side. Jouer, never going anywhere. Every moisturizer on this planet could never with shea butter, okay? Yay, a mask. I couldn't make this video without showing you at least one. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know this is my second boyfriend. I use this mask every time I need my skin to look brand new. And it's great for quarantine because we can't get facials right now. But basically, I'm gonna swatch it. I did it two days ago, so I can't really apply it like that. You know what? I can't make a video without applying it. I'm gonna just go ahead and apply it for you guys. I use this mask anytime I want my skin to look brand new. Because it has black sugar, charcoal, it gets rid of all that gunk under the skin, like the whiteheads, all of that. So I just follow the directions, I wet my face, apply the mask, wait seven minutes, scrub it out. I really scrub on my chin and my nose and those crevices because that's where I tend to have the most whiteheads. And then gently all over my face. And then I finally wash it out and I cleanse it off and dry it with a towel and moisturize. <laughs> And that's a lot, but it's not a lot once you do it, okay? I still feel like I'm forgetting something. Ooh, one more step. One, 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 one more step. Bum, ba, da, bum. Yep, I use Vaseline for eye cream. I didn't even know eye cream was a theme until this year, girl. Like, I've been putting Vaseline on my eyes for ages and I did it to help get mascara off my eyelids, but I find that while I'm sleeping, it keeps my eyes moisturized, just like eye cream would, right? And when I wake up in the morning, I have no eye boogers. I look like I got better rest. It's like the perfect recipe for a beauty sleep. So there you have it. I can finally take off that headband. I'm done with my skincare routine. I hope you guys really try it, like for real. I might even do a giveaway, so stay tuned on Instagram. But whew, I finally got this video out. I hope you liked it. Actually give the video a thumbs up down below and comment and subscribe. But yeah, I love you guys so much that I will do a giveaway. So stay tuned on Instagram. All the rules will be posted there. And if you don't know, my Instagram is down below. And yeah, black screen, it's been a minute. Oh, that's creepy. Sorry guys. I love you, you knew that. Stay safe, I'm praying for you. You guys pray for me. Let's all stick together and stay strong. And thank you to all the essential workers, I love y'all.